This is a sop with camel, perhaps one of the most iconic planes of the First World War. In this video we will explore its design, its use and exactly why it was so effective. It is perhaps most famous for being the plane of W.E. John's fictional hero Biggles or being the plane that shot down the greatest German air race, the Red Baron, but it is so much more than this. 5,500 were built by the Allies due to their success in dogfights. Their complex tendencies made them hard to fly and this actually led to many dying in training. But experienced pilots utilized these quirks which made them formidable fighters. Before we explore the engineering behind it was so hard to fly, we must first take some historical context. In the spring of 1917, a period known as Bloody April occurred with four allies being shot down for every one German. This was partially due to tactics, the allies were sending out lots of inexperienced pilots whereas the Triple Entente worked harder to train their pilots. Furthermore the allies were focused on offensive missions to support the big push. Whilst these were successful, the Germans were there waiting for them giving them an advantage. However the massacre was also partly due to the fact that the allied planes were outdated, SOP with pups, FES and Echo DH9s were easily outclasses by Flowers, Fokkers and Albatrosses. However, after this new planes were released, the SE5, the Bristol Fighter and the SOP with Camel. The SOP with Camel included a rotary engine. This meant that instead of the propeller being connected to the crankshaft, instead, the engine itself rotates and the crankshaft is connected to the frame. The engineering is very simple, the chambers are in a circle shape, fuel is inserted when the chamber is in place and then ignited. This expands the cylinder causing the engine to continue to turn, this keeps happening and this turns the propeller. You may ask why did they do this, the answer is partly that planes were new and people were experimenting but it does have some meaningful uses. Firstly, standard V8 engines were unreliable. Secondly, Rotary engines formed their own flywheel by spinning thus saving weight. One major advantage is that it also cooled itself thus saving weight again, this made it very good in a dogfight. However there were problems, the cylinders did create some windage which caused some drag problems at high speeds. Furthermore, it was very inefficient since remaining fuel was simply pumped out of the engine and not collected. Interestingly many pilots swallowed lots of oil in this way leading many to develop dihoria later in life. On top of this, the rotary engine had a very limited throttle. Generally, is was seen as on or off and was often controlled by blipping the engine, this also made it inefficient. Finally we come to the gyroscopic effect. This was the feature leading to more dying in training than combat but also what made it so effective. First, it is necessary to explain what it is. When a body is rotating and two forces are applied, the body will tend to tilt, remember this is because it is rotating. This creates a pulling force on one side called a gyroscopic effect. This happens with a bike wheel on string and it also happened with the Sopwith camel engine. So what did this mean? It meant that the plane turned very fast to the right but very slow to the left. Inexperienced pilots were often caught out by this however experienced ones used it to their advantage to be successful. Another point to note is that the pilots were very far forward. This sometimes lead to peculiar techniques however it made it a very agile plane finally. As with so many World War I planes, it is worth pointing out that the double wings allowed reduced wing area for the same lift allowing for much tighter turns, another crucial point for the camel. With regard to its actual use after coming in in 1917, it only lasted until mid-1918 when it was outclassed by faster more agile planes and those with better armament, and was moved over to trench strafing. We could not conclude the video without telling you that the reason it was called a camel was due to the hump-like cover over the guns. To conclude, the camel was an extraordinary plane for its time, with an eccentric design understandable to the time period it became one of the best fighters of the war and a decisive factor in victory. Thanks for watching, please do subscribe and share our channel.